Hey YouTube friends, this is Kwa. I wanted to uh, create this video to share with you a solution that I came across that has really worked for me uh, with a problem I've, I'm having with my Tyrannus, uh, FR Sky Tyrannus uh, radio. Uh, this is one of the most popular radios out there. It's uh, I've been using it for three and a half, almost four years. I think I've had one of the first Tyrannuses when they came out. Uh, this one um, is, you know, is has I've has been used continuously for during all that time. I've never had any problems with it. I um, I really really like this radio for its functionality and its uh, its value. It's 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 basically a thousand dollar radio for about two hundred twenty dollars. And uh, but anyway, I I've been using it and I've not I had any problems with it until I installed a module in the back. Now, um, it has ability to accept modules for different type of protocols, uh, DSM, uh, FlySky, uh, you name it. So basically, you know, it, it's a standard JR module. And if you put it in the back, then you can, uh, you can have uh, the radio bind with different models. Okay, different models that uses a protocol that is not uh, FR Sky. So that's what I did recently. And uh, what happened was that when I installed the module, it created this horrible buzzing uh, that, from the speakers. I mean, it was just, you know, I mean, it didn't really affect the performance of the radio. I mean, it, it worked the same, but the buzzing was just so annoying. I mean, I, I, I had to figure out a way to to get rid of it. And so I did a little research online and um, it turns out that this is not an uncommon problem, uh, especially when you are installing a module in the back. And I didn't want to give up my module because I was having such good use out of it. And so basically when, when I researched online, there are a couple solutions that I found. One of them Involved soldering a capacitor to the uh, the the, bu the board the board of the of the radio, and it seemed pretty simple. But I wasn't really crazy about that idea because, you know, when you're soldering stuff on the radio, I mean, you know, a lot of things can go wrong. This is a pretty complicated electronic device, and you know, I don't necessarily trust my soldering skills that much, and so that was a no go for me. Um, another one involved this one, this solution that I'm going to share with you, which basically uh, is a ferrite um, tube or coil. Okay, uh, let me see if I can you know, get closer to you. So basically, what you know, what this does is that, and, and by the way, the the buzzing is caused by radio frequency interference that comes from the cables within the radio. Okay, I'm gonna open it up for you and, you and I'll show you what I mean. So basically, I'll do it right now actually while I'm thinking about it. So here you go. So here's the radio, here's what it looks like on the inside. All right, so here are the cables uh, that connects, you know, the daughter board to the motherboard. And, um, you know, they emit a lot of frequencies and you know, because you can see that they're very close to each other and very close to the motherboard. So that that is what's causing all the buzzing. So what I did was um, I grabbed, you know, these guys, which I got from Amazon.com. And these are ferrite uh, uh, coils. And what you can do is you can, they clip, okay, like here. And so I clipped each, um, cable with one of these coils and there's one two three four five six seven eight there's eight cables so i i clipped uh a uh, a coil on the cable and that actually solved the buzzing situation the, bu the buzzing problem and it doesn't harm the cable you can take it out you know in the future if you don't want the the the, the coils there you can take it out and it's really simple it doesn't involve any soldering at all um and the the clips were, I got them 24 pieces for $10. And so, you know, you can use them for other applications. Like for instance, you know, you can clip this on your, your mouse cables, your keyboard cables, or speaker cables, or any other place that actually 
uh, is subject to radio interference. So here you go. So that's what it is. And, um, you know, and it doesn't harm the radio. It doesn't affect its use. And as you can see, I can still close it. And in this, what I'll do is I'll turn on the radio for you to show you. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Engines armed. All right, so there you go. So now I don't have all the buzzing that I had before. And what I'll do is I'll, I, I, I'll include in the, in, in the very end the video of the buzzing, what I'm talking about, so you'll see the difference. You can pair them um, right now. I mean, obviously, you know, they're... You know, there's no buzzing. And so that solved my problem without the use of soldering, without surgery, uh, and without any, you know, fuss and muss. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have this problem yourself, then now you know what you can do. Uh, the solution is pretty simple. All you do is clip on one of these ferrite cords to the cables in the radio and it will go away. 95% um, of it. Now, I, I want to say that it doesn't take away completely. Uh, it's It probably takes away about 95% of it. I mean, you know, if you listen closely, you can still hear a little bit of buzzing, but I doubt that if you're outside, you'll be able to notice it. Or, you know, I mean, you got to put your, your ears to the radio before you can notice it. So it doesn't take away completely, but it does a very good job of doing it. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you, and if you um, uh, if you think it's been useful, then then I've included a link on in this video, so you can order it um, yourself. And please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks a lot for watching.